So, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with another day of uh, probably some Battlefield 2042 and then some uh, Halo a little bit later. Uh, for now, it's probably just me. Um, if my buddies do get on, then that would be cool. If not, uh, maybe they'll be getting on some Halo later. We'll see. Uh, but for right now, I guess we're just going to jump right into our first game of the day. Uh, they changed up uh, Breakthrough, apparently. They've been doing some patches. Uh, so they did bring back this guy, uh, Dozer. He's officially back in the game. I don't know why it's showing Mike. This character. Uh, and you can use his special ability again. So that's kind of cool. Um, never actually looked at this tip of the spear. I love the tier one outfits for all these characters. They're so cool. Um, but anyways, so he's back in the game. You can use a shield now. Um, and then they also made a change with, uh, breakthrough. Now in breakthrough, you can actually play, uh, or it goes up to it's, I think, uh, 600, um, 600 tickets now instead of 400. So the games are a little bit longer. Uh, they made a little bit of changes, but we'll see how much that actually affects today, uh, while we're playing. So one sec, I'm just trying to set a few things up. I'm going to attempt doing another uh, live stream on TikTok. Since the last time I did one, it was during Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, so we'll see how this one is. We're loading into the game anyway, so just uh, testing a few things out. Making sure that it's like not like too two in the way as well. just check discord as we're loading in and there we are we're in and we're also currently live on tiktok as well oh god Give it a second. Defend your objectives. If US forces take the sector, fall back and defend the next one. You need to survive this siege long enough to deplete their resources. What happened? My frames. I know they made some changes, but. Let me check uh, real quick what we have here. Try changing DLSS to performance. Oh God. I didn't install the new drivers today. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. But it definitely seems like the, uh, I don't know how well this is working out right now. God stage. Help me. In about 50 frames. 
I definitely feel it too. So let me check a few things. That's off, that's off. Lens distortion, we'll turn that off. Start bumping down to medium. Typically I've been getting like 80. Uh, 80 frames per second. I don't know if it's the game I'm in maybe. Getting like 45 right now, according to this. We've been pushed out of our objective. Come help me! Yeet McLeet. Ah, thank you. Try this again. Let's see if DLSS helps at all. struggling to uh to capture the screen god i need to see if anything else is running call in a ranger here Nice, nice. Not nice. Nice. Not nice. Nice. No, he's against the wall. I can't res him. These guys, I could. I was able to until that point. Live spotlight. Oh boy. Right now we are live on TikTok. I'm also streaming on Twitch, Twitter, or not Twitch, or not Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube as well. Same username, Cassis Clay. Testing this out for the first time. Also, can read chat in uh, TikTok. I kind of just need to angle it a little bit to be able to see it, but for the most part, I can. Playing some Battlefield 2042 on uh, PC right now. Audio is in the uh, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube stream. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a way of putting the audio through the TikTok stream other than myself talking. So. Man. Next death, I'm gonna check my my settings because it. I mean, like right here, like it was fine for a second, and then all of a sudden, I don't know, it gets a little weird here and there. Let's check and see if there's anything running in the background. Only thing really running or taking up a lot is OBS, but that typically does not take up a lot. It's, uh. Should be okay. CPU is just at the max. <laughs> oh, it could be, um... They're beginning to take a toll. 
we'll see if uh, our next few games get any better i heard somebody say and i don't know how true it is but when you download the drivers it has to update the shaders or something like that too while you're in game so we'll see if it uh makes any effect for that part get some res that's an enemy how long was that dude there what the hell Shoot. go back to display we have lost an objective. go for ultra performance Bravo. see what happens Just hold on. oh my god please, please get up. Four revives in the row. I can't tell if DLSS is making it better or worse. So far, I honestly feel like when I make those changes, like it gets very laggy. So I don't know if uh, it could potentially be making it worse. There's a tank over there. Something for you. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to throw that all the way down there. what it is but it feels like the new drivers made it worse bro what is this what is this wait My God, I think he spawned as an enemy. That's funny. I've seen that before on, uh, I've seen that a few times now, actually. On Reddit, there was a, a few people that spawned as enemies and then also now, so. That hasn't gone away. I don't know if I should bump this down, like. We have secured an objective. Hostile presence at Bravo 2.
performance overlay draw true. Maybe that's that is the number. That seems more accurate than NVIDIA's thing. Because it doesn't seem like I'm getting like 30 frames per second. I mean, there are some times where it definitely drops, but I can't tell by like enough where it fully matters all the time, at least. Like right now, I can tell it's a little bit lower. We tried. Yeah, I'm just gonna respawn. They're taking Charlie. Who's that? Uh, am I even in the squad? Okay, I am. Crab legs chungus. Nice. Today, pat Battlefield, or well, Tom Henderson, which is a pretty good community member that's spot on for a lot of uh, EA content, games and all that. Uh, he put out a tweet saying that we're getting an update for uh, Battlefield 2042 on launch day, or at least that should be the first one, day one patch. Um, then after that, I believe there's another one that should be coming by November 23rd. And then another one that should be coming uh, by December 1st. And those two are going to be like the ones that add in content that wasn't available on day la uh, launch day. Like not like new maps or new weapons or specialists, anything like that. But basic quality of life things. 
supposedly. So I, I hope that we get those, or at least if, if they can add one thing that people, one or a few things actually that people are complaining about on the subreddit, then I feel like that'll set a good standard for this game. But I'm not sure if they will or plan on oh geez doing that i don't know i i expectations are low so that way we can be uh impressed hopefully All these people Stay away from me. and nobody is a medic I'm gonna try going hovercraft I just saved them. Oh my god, bro. What the heck? things i i hope we get a patch that's like here's here's a patch to help drive the uh hovercraft a little bit easier because these things are wild they never go exactly the way that you expect they're like a drifting machine the entire time and it's not like you can counter steer with them either <laughs> jesus dude My squat. Uh, never mind. They gave up. Where is this? I'm trying to pick up my own thing. I don't know if they just jumped out or. See that guy now. Nobody's coming to me. There's a tank. I can't. What is this? We're like flying sideways. Oh God. Oh God. They're everywhere. It won't let me heal him. What the heck? I 
I tried. I'm standing over it. We are getting absolutely demolished right now. Is it over? Oh God! All objectives lost. Withdraw to the next sector. Mount your defense there. Can we still move? That's a friendly helicopter. I was about to light it up. Oh, that is not a friendly though. Or unless if it is, it might just be a friendly. That's. <laughs> we must defeat them here. Guard your objective. Oh my oh God, my dude! That's a friendly that spawned as an enemy. Another one, dude. <laughs> Reloading. Oh, my God. How? How is that a thing? Don't get it. Take it, take it, take it. So many uh, grenades. I don't know if somebody is actually here or if that's just saying that because uh because we have a guy nearby that spawned as an enemy Explosions. No. We're getting a lot of logistics ribbons. Top 
you to keep up. A good day's work, but I'm not one to back. Sometimes they just line up for you. Oh, we tried. That was a bad first match. <laughs> nice. 25. Oh, we unlocked her. I forgot about her. Cool. Hey, I'm ready. Uh, on Z. For some reason, it doesn't like it if you're using, uh... Basic advanced latency. Go basic. All right, let's try loading into another game. Yeah, so right now we're getting that like 80, 85, 110. It's fine there. Let's find out once we get in game. I don't know. According to this, we're getting 50 right now. Forty-six. But I think it looks smoother than that. I can definitely see some some moments where it's dropping down or, or stuttering a tiny tiny bit hmm. I can't get back up I'm stuck I'm stuck in crouch kill me I'm stuck I can't uncrouch. Is that a new bug?
It's like I can't undot or I can't die too. Thank you. Oh no! No, dude. Are you serious? Ah. Oh. I got the zero. Uh, there's no respawn timer, and I was stuck in crouch. So we tried. I'm ready if you are. One second, I'm just checking stuff. All objectives okay. captured. Sector secure. I don't know if I just got in the same game again or if it's actually different people. Typing F. Yo, what's up? Oh my god, yo, what's up, Schiffer? How you doing? How's it going? Oh my god, I'm just getting wrecked right now. How you been, man? Somehow still alive. Tell me what to do! <laughs> it's flying. Oh, my God. You need to get out. I'm <sighs> Bro, what is I don't know what's what it is but like these games feel crazy right now like so much more chaotic they're working like crazy good to have you uh but good what about you i'm doing pretty good just uh same working 
every day, coming home, playing some games, and trying to stay alive, basically. At least we got some uh, pretty good games out right now, so. Well, generally good games with their own issues. Yeah, pretty much, exactly. <laughs> so, there's that. Been playing Star Citizen lately. Nice. How's that going? Aren't they doing? I w I was reading they're doing like a wipe or something soon. All right, I'm I'm leaving Breakthrough. There's no point. I'm going to Conquest. Let's get the party started, huh? Optimizing shaders. It was like a wipe two weeks ago. Did it like, how much of it did it wipe? I have Star Citizen. I haven't played it in forever. I also have like the very, very base, whatever the most basic version of that game you can get. A bunch of people died over at the uh, B1 gingerbread man everything except for things you buy with real money wow is that normal like is that their first time or so basically right now is like a good time for like new people to get into it since people have to like rebuild everything and all that, I guess. Oh, jeez. What? It's on the hill. Come help me. Don't let me die. Stay away. I hate that when you get up and then you instantly die. Or that when you spawn and instantly die. Allies engaging in Charlie One. Somebody help! Yeah, there was a wipe like two years ago, maybe. It's, uh, but it's a good thing because people have been exploiting bugs and glitches or already had billions. Okay. I see. Yeah, generally when it comes to like that kind of stuff, then that makes sense. Bro, I'm not even doing anything and I'm dying. Stay away from me. I stand up, I get shot, and then I'm down. I didn't do anything. Sector Delta. We have control of Charlie One. If we don't stop them, they'll take every sector. My squad mate is two feet away from me. Sorry for the distraction. Now you're perfectly fine. I'm dying anyways. So. Regardless of, of me reading chat or not, I'd still be dying. <laughs> I'd rather be reading chat and dying than just 
running around dying endlessly by myself oh my god i thought my game was about to crash right there Most More fun to die with friends than alone. I guess you are. I'm okay now. Time for revenge. You stay, stay alive. Grab this. Holy crap, dude! This helicopter will not leave us alone. It says that there's somebody right here, but every time I run into it, there's nobody there. Yeah, Star Citizen's now playable. Almost no blo no bugs, really. Hey, got objective. We're with you, squad leader. One sec. Or at least say those that are game breaking. Okay. That's uh, that's good to hear. Should I give it a try? Yeah, I'll, uh, I will s at some point. I don't know when. Um, but that's one of those games like where I went to like almost go download it again and give it another try. But I just never really got around to it. So try to get this guy. No, I'm helping you. Allies moving on Alpha One. Cheer, nice. use it. I always thought the scale of the game was really cool. what it is it's been like four days since this game released and now everybody all of a sudden is like an expert at flying everybody is so good blowing us up and all of that they're getting tons and tons of kills ah my graphics card is not catching though it's that rtx 2060 super if these new games are tough dude same i'm i i know i'm getting close to the point where my it's not really the graphics card, but well, yeah, <laughs> it looks like my guy lost his head. Um, it, it, I have a 2070 super, uh, but my CPU, I think is going to be the next issue. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to upgrade graphics cards again at any point but probably in like a year or two i can just get a new pc with whatever is the current thing i've had this current the pc i have right now i've had since 2016 with an i7 6700k um yeah gpus are still so expensive Rebuilds surprisingly still aren't that bad though. If you get if you get one that comes with it, like you can actually get a decent deal sometimes out there now. My buddy just got a 39 or a 3080 uh, in a pre-build PC and it's it's all right. I don't think it was anything. I think it was expensive, but you know you're gonna have that for a few years, so. You'll probably need this. Take this. Take the I have something for you. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm 37 for 850 uh, euros. I managed to sell my old one. Yeah, I still have my 1070 too. I mean, there's people Check out there that will buy them too, you know. One of our objectives is under attack. So. Honestly, if I ever get a new PC, so long as this one doesn't like crap the bed, then at that rate, I would uh, use my current one as a stream PC and get like an actual like 4K uh, capture card and install it. That's the only thing that I'm like looking forward to for whenever the day comes of like, all right, now I'm going to actually get a new PC, like using this one as like a streaming one. The one that I have right now, I mean, it does the job and it was cheap. It was like 300 bucks. So <laughs> it works. Can I have a uh, good offer for a 37 for 800? <laughs> I would, I would. If I know anybody looking, I'll let you know too. My eyes have been, I, I slept so bad, completely off gaming topic. Um, but my eyes are so tired. Here, might be useful. Hostile is close. I slept horrible last night and go to sleep until like almost like 1230 Our troops are holding on a work down. night. <sighs> so I'm just like, uh, Oh, you meant like I will buy that 3070 for 800 if I manage to sell my 2060? Oh, okay. <laughs> I see, I see. Um... I don't know what objective we should be taking right now. I mean, C2 seems pretty good. Go back, back. We've taken that objective. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. You know. We captured Sector Charlie. Um, it, it seems okay some points, but then other points, I don't know. Like, they just came out with a driver. Uh, for the most part, I, I'll be honest, I'm probably going to say no at the moment. Um, it has its issues, and there's a good amount of issues, but... I still have been finding a lot of fun while playing the game, regardless of a lot of those. Uh, but I'm also a very uh, big Battlefield fan, so might just be me, but regardless of like a lot of stuff that I hope we see get added. I've I've been really enjoying this. And the fact that it's not just this mode, like I've been playing Conquest and Breakthrough for 2042 for the last like four days, basically. And there's portal mode 
which is its own thing too and adds so much more fun stuff so been playing battlefield 3 like crazy yeah like you can play battlefield 3 in this only two maps but still i think it's been a lot of fun uh, i hope we i hope we actually get a decent like patch soon because a lot of people that's the one thing if you have a, a a 3080 like the recommended minimum the record no no not the minimum the recommended gpu for this game is a 3060 recommended is a 3060 that's insane um but i hope that they can kind of like I don't know dumb it down at least a little bit so that way we can get a little bit better uh frames i mean i'll turn things down to be able to get better frames but it, it's rough at some points Keep us updated. Take this. yeah they i mean i'm sure eventually it just takes some it's annoying Especially when it's like a battlefield game. Luckily, they figured out the server stuff within the first day, uh, for the most part. And there hasn't really been any issues since then, except for some rubber banding. But either way, I don't know, man. Stay back. Like I said in the beginning, or like or a little bit ago, uh, I, I'm still finding fun in it. Like, I, I still enjoy the game. Um, but it's funny. If you kind of take... Uh, you, so, you know how Halo just released, too? It's like both of them are suffering from opposite things. Halo runs amazing. And it, it looks so good. And it's so smooth. And everything is like perfect except for the progression the progression and customization for your spartan unlocking new things and all of that it's like horrible because it's locked behind challenges where the challenges are like kill five people with a rocket launcher play 10 of this match like the progression is annoying so therefore i I'll, I'll play it with friends and I'll probably play it a little bit later tonight, but I'm almost like, what's the point if I'm going to be focusing these, uh, these objectives or these challenges the whole time and not, you know, just playing the game to have fun. Meanwhile, in this game, the progression is there and all of that, but uh, and you can do whatever you want and like have fun in the game, but there's quality of life features and basic battlefield things that are missing that it's like, well, you can keep playing the game and suffer through that stuff and at least still make progress or you can not play the game and wait until they add that stuff if they add a lot of it and take it from there they're both su suffering from opposite things one runs amazing and there's no progression or no not fun progression and then the other one has all the progression but has issues with running and bugs and other stuff it's like come on if you if you took them both and combined uh i don't know Halo Battlefield. That would be a, it would be amazing, but it's not the case. It's like they forgot how to do a proper game, get lazy and greedy. Exactly. I what a lot of people are questioning, at least for this game, uh, 
is like if they said they're they were ahead of schedule like what were they doing i don't know it's kind of it's just like a whole bunch of question marks like what do you mean and it's also there's a lot of things that are like how is this missing and how is this not mentioned in the first place but I guess, like, I, I hate being that person that's like, games in 2021 aren't made, made like they're used to, you know? Because there's still, there's still a ton, a ton of games that come out today that are amazing, that are quality, that are good. But it's like, those games only come out from like, B tier, uh, like, developers and publishers. I, I don't understand it. Like the companies that have the most money and all this stuff, they, they produce some of the worst products. And then meanwhile, all these smaller ones, like you, you think that they would want them to produce the biggest so that way the response would be the highest and then more people would continue to buy it. But it's like, instead they'd rather just you know, do 80% of the work and rely on everybody to buy it. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember when most companies, uh, where these big companies release games that is not broken at launch. True. Battlefield has always had its issues. Um, at launch. This battle is won. And I mean, there's tons, tons of games that have issues at launch, you know? Everybody just eventually either forgets about it or enjoy, this moment, enjoy it. GTA, the troll, dude. I, I was looking forward to GTA Trilogy and I was like, okay, like, I kind of want to get it. But then I was like, eh, there's so much, like, there's this there's other games in my backlog i'll get it one day when it's like 30 bucks or 20 bucks like cool and right now here we are and i am so 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 happy because that game has a metacritic or a user critic score or whatever user score of like less than one dude i i hope the only time i like seeing or, or seeing that companies aren't doing great is when you hope that it shows them that if gamers aren't happy and gamers aren't buying your product that that's not your marketing team's fault that's not your developer's fault that is your your idea of the this thing that you made that goes completely against what everybody actually wanted it's like, I feel like it, it has to be clear to them. So, so for take two, I, I don't know how they're going to come back from it. I don't know how, how cyberpunk is going to come back from it. Like all these things that, that come out, they're supposed to be next level, top tier, like a, a, a quad, like everything perfect, like they have the highest marketing. They have the highest amount of money. All of this, they're like, all right, this is going to be great. And then all of a sudden it comes out and it's like, it doesn't have to be perfect. But if games aren't ready, then don't release them. If it takes you an extra two or three years, like I get it, they, they have mark numbers that they have to meet. But at the same time, like, is it really going to be worth it if you trash your credibility? Like, I don't know. I don't know what the solution is, but something's not working here, obviously. It's stay alive and we win. Just stay alive and we win. That's the solution.
Exactly. Cyberpunk learned the lesson. Like, it's okay for something to release and have bugs and all that, and then they patch it, but it's like, you could have just avoided all that to begin with if you either took more time or listened to your community. Like, within two days, and not even kidding, within two days from this game releasing, people on the community subreddit of battlefield 2042 already released amazing looking ui improvements like the community does if it can, one community member can do that what is an entire team of people not be not doing i i know i never understand that like why i, I wish that more companies would be more up front about what they're doing and like as they're developing a game you know work with either the entire community or selective people within the community that actually know what they're talking about like if they would have came out and said like hey how do you guys like this ui <coughs> I feel like you would get a, a lot of different responses. Initiating assault on Delta One. Stop the US forces from conquering every sector. Believe in those developers. I feel like I, I do feel like that to ma majority of the time, if it develop if developers don't think that the game is ready, then they will push for the game to not release like i i do honestly think that most of the time when these games come out and they're not prepared it's like the the management up above that's saying like we need to meet these numbers this year otherwise we can't pay you guys or we won't be able to pay you next year like if this isn't ready by this time then our people are going to drop out investors i don't know whatever but it's and i get it it's rough but like at the same time yeah same with gta online loading don't know if you heard but the game we're loading for five minutes for a solid five minutes and one guy from community solved that yeah i saw that one guy figure it out how how to severely cut down the uh the loading time literally like six years after the game released like that's insane they have secured echo sector Stop the US that's why star citizen won't suffer from from that because they fund themselves from kids kickstarter Exactly. I, I think what a lot of these companies need to adapt to is if you're going to do these, then you have to release your product in an early access stage. And I don't mean like early access. Oh, play the game early beta. Like right now, this game, in order to play this game, Battlefield 2042, you have to buy the higher edition of it. So, that or you have EA Play Pro like me. So, you expect a quality game, but obviously you don't get that. Or, well, you don't fully get that. Like, if you're paying more money for an earlier version, then it should be more prepared, not the opposite. Like, if you're gonna make it, it similar to how an early access game on Steam works, you pay the lower price now while it's on sale, and then when the full game goes into 1.0 release, 
you already paid the lower price and now you get access to the full game it's like the opposite for ea and these bigger companies you pay the more expensive price and then when the game goes into now it's actually good mode aka the original 1.0 mode now you have access to it but it's like you paid for that like months and months and months in advance it's like ah uh, it's backwards man nobody would be able or you could still complain if if battlefield right now I keep hitting my, uh, my thing, but if Battlefield right now, this version of Battlefield was selling for 40 bucks, then I feel like it would be acceptable because at that rate, it would be, it would be a, an early access, actually early access version. Like, Hey, we're going to run into issues. We're going to have all that like but you're getting it at a lesser price and then if later on down the line like it goes up for more money or they're like okay now we're in 1.0 now it's it's 60 bucks then i feel like that would make sense and then of course over time you'd have sales again which would bring it back down to that 40 or lower you know but when you're, it's the complete opposite. It's $120, it's 110. Like to play a game that, that has issues. If it wasn't a battlefield game, I probably would not be playing this right now. And if I didn't, I don't, I don't know if I didn't have EA play pro, if I would be playing it either after reading our reviews this is why it's so important actually to do research before they don't have to hire testers because people buy it and test it it's smart thinking though it is it, it is like regardless it is smart regardless whether it's right i mean it's not like any uh insanely morally wrong thing i mean it is not that bad but it's also i don't know it, it works the reason they do it is because they can get away with it and it works just like anything in life yeah that's that's why I don't pre-order exactly that that is the exact reason why pre-ordering is the dumbest thing ever in today I don't the only time I ever ever pre-order something is when I know 100% that I'm going to play it I'm accepting the fact that there's probably going to be issues it might not be perfect but it might be good too but it might be like a little bit rough the only time i ever do it is when it's something i'm actually excited for and i can't wait for like if if there was a, a new star wars game coming out tomorrow i would still have access to it be, because of ea play pro but i probably would pre-order it because it's Star Wars, like something like that. A new Marvel game. I can't miss out on that stuff. Those are like core things that I absolutely love and need and want, regardless of whether the experience is going to be perfect at launch or not. But if it's just like a basic game or something that's not, I don't know, top of the line, then a lot of times I'll wait. I'll see what the reviews are before I make any decision. Like 90, 90, like 5% of games that come out, regardless if I want it or not, I either wait until it's on sale or 
Uh, I wait until after releases, it does good, and then I pick it up. Just wait to get it patched in that. Uh, and in that time, it would be on some sale anyway. Exactly. That is one thing that I, I love about PC gaming. Is so many games go on sale. Um, and a lot of them can actually be really cheap too when they do go on sale. So there's there's probably games that I can find that, that came out within the last six months right now for sale for like 60 bucks on Steam. I mean, not, for 20 bucks or like 15 that have like amazing, like overwhelmingly positive reviews. Uh, and like are very solid games for such a low price. Now there's somebody in the corner. Damn it. I love the PP29. It's so good. But even even after all of that and everything, I I still enjoy a lot of games regardless of, regardless of their issues. And that's how I will always be because I'm always trying to find the positive things in a game of why I keep playing it and why I like it rather than, you know, sitting on a forum and just complaining. Cause I, I can do that. Like I can sit on a forum or, or make my voice heard on Twitter or whatever it is, but like, it's only going to get so far and I'll join the collective crowd with saying, Hey, we need this. We want this, but most of the time it won't stop my enjoyment. Just look at the Avengers game. I I still really enjoyed my time with Avengers. And I think that it it can be a fun time, but it has so many issues with it also that I've at this point I have officially given up on that game until it either reaches a point where it's out there's multiple things of content that are out. People are like, holy crap, it's actually good. Uh, like once that moment comes, I will check it out again. I'll, I'll rejoin it. But I don't know if that game or that game is ever going to live to that, to that standard, an Avengers standard. I don't know if it'll ever reach that. So, and it sucks because it's one of the coolest, coolest potentially products that could actually be good, but didn't end up being good. And then meanwhile, you have a game like Guardians of the Galaxy came out of nowhere. I couldn't have cared less for the Guardians of the Galaxy before the Marvel movies, before any of that. And then this game came out this year. And right now, Guardians of the Galaxy is my game of the year. For 2021 like the storytelling the characters the game ran pretty good like it it was complete it's completely underrated too like is it on pc yeah it is on it is like i i literally because of avengers i was like eh, do i really need to play a guardians game do I really want to play a Guardians game? And part of me was like, meh, it sounds cool, but like, do I really care that much? And I was like, yes, I do, but I could wait. Then it came out and a day before it came out, everybody was like, yo, 
This game's good. The story is good. The characters are amazing. The choices aren't crazy, but they make they do enough to impact your your playthrough that it kind of matters. Like all of that came out and, and I was like, uh, what? Like this is actually like good? Like people are actually enjoying this? And then I played it. Right now, absolutely loved it. Amazing game. I wish, I really, really, really wish that we got an Avengers in the same style of how Guardians of the Galaxy was. Because that game came out of nowhere and had so much passion in it that I honestly think that it was written and created by people that were very passionate in it. Um, and, and it's like, so many people aren't going to play it because Don't of what me. the Avengers game, I feel like, well, not only that, but so many people probably didn't even hear about it. Yeah, it, it came out and it was really, really good. It is on PC. It is on Xbox. Um, it has an amazing soundtrack. Unfortunately, I couldn't listen to the full soundtrack because I was in streamer mode the whole time. Um, but really, such a good game. And I, I, I hope that a lot of people, what I honestly hope is that people get it for Christmas because it's, I 100% it's, think it's gonna be one of the most underrated games of the year because of either how much people uh, didn't like like Avengers or because people just straight up didn't know about it. So, absolutely love that game. I want more uh, story driven games like that. I've been wanting to go back to uh, Yakuza too. I still have Yakuza 5, 6, and then 7 to play. Those are some long games though. But it might be almost time to jump into them. I don't know why, but Yakuza makes me think of like holiday games. Talking about good stories, I hope that God of War will run smooth on PC. Can't wait to play that again. Same. I was I was actually just thinking about that game today. Uh, I hope it comes out and, and it runs good on PC as well. Like actually. But I guess we will see how that goes. Um, I think there's, I, I have hope that it will because uh, majority of the, the games that have come out from Sony onto PC, from what I can think of right now, majority of them have came out on PC and they, they've ran well. Like, there hasn't really been any complaints, or, or many. Um, I think a lot of people said Horizon ran well. A lot of people said uh, the zombie game, Days Gone. Is that it? Yeah. Like, a lot of people said that ran well. Like, I, I think that it might actually be good. Not EA or Rockstar, so I think it will be okay. Exactly. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, and that game ran... Well, it still runs pretty good, you know? That's a massive game, but it's like... What I'm afraid of is, like, what are we going to get for GTA 6? Like, if this is the standard right now, if it comes out and it, like, runs like... Uh, 
Red Dead Redemption, then all right, like not a big deal. But what if it doesn't? <laughs> oh man, Star Simpson will be out sooner. It might be, honestly. Do they have a track, like a, a date set for Star Citizen? Like actually? Like, hey, we're trying to have this game out by 2023, or is it like, they do have road maps? Okay, that's, that's fair. But there's no like official like, we want this to be fully released 1.0 by this date. It's like, here's what we plan on doing with the, within this year type thing. We're about to lose, but that's all right. Four big updates in every year. Still not bad. Especially like if they're decent sized updates, you know, then that's, that's pretty good. Or substantial like content. Okay. One of our objectives has been targeted. Well, will it always be a a paid game? Begin Star Citizen's not going to go free to play, is it? Number one revives, baby. That was something, right? Job well done, eh? That's Great day, Chick fil A. Now it won't be a free to play game. For now, it won't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, with how much they raised on that game, it shouldn't be. Holy crap. There's a lot of, uh, oh boy. There's a lot of stuff coming out right now about stream labs that I didn't know about. I don't think anybody knew about. Holy crap. Literally OBS coming out of nowhere and adding Streamlabs. <laughs> no way. Wait, somebody. That's funny. 
Somebody just messaged me and said that they're we were just in the same game. Wait, are we even not- we're not even friends on the game. That's funny. Yeah, buddy, uh... Wait, let me see if you, if I can search for him. That's the second time I've got into a game with a friend. Uh, from this. Yeah, it's got to be in. Got a stalker right there. Nah, he's from uh, this gaming community I'm in. Rebel. He messaged me. He's like, yo, I was just in your game right now. Nice job making the feature three. <laughs> That's funny. Um. I think I'm going to swap over to Halo and play a little bit of Halo tonight for the rest of the night. why not right why not yeah we'll go to sleep soon anyways pretty late here what time is it there my eyes are so tired probably only play for like an hour and 